All right, we just installed 100,000 movie ratings, and we now have everything we need to actually run some Spark code and get some results out of all this work that we've done so far. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's construct a histogram of that ratings data. Out of those 100,000 movie ratings that we just installed, let's figure out how many five-star ratings there are in that data set, how many four stars, three stars, two stars, and one stars, for example. And it's real easy to do. First thing you need to do, though, is download the ratings-counter.py script from the resources for this lecture. So if you haven't done that already, please hit pause and go take care of that right now. I'll sit here and wait for you. And when we're ready to move on, let's walk through what to do with that script, and we'll actually get a payoff out of all this work and run some Spark code and see what it does. Okay, after all that work we've done to install a development environment and some sample data, let's get a little bit of payoff for that and actually run a Spark program on some real ratings data. So from the resources for this lecture, you should be able to get the ratings-counter.py file from the resources. Remember that uh, big, blue, fr big friendly blue button in the upper right hand corner of the lecture? Go click on that and download the ratings counter script to your computer and copy it into your Spark course directory. So if you need to hit pause while you go take care of that, please do so. Again, ratings counter needs to be downloaded into your Spark course directory. Once you have it there, if you've installed Nthought Canopy or whatever Python development environment you like, you should be able to just double click on that file. And up comes Canopy. Now, I don't want to get into too much detail as to what's actually going on in the script yet. I just want you to get a little bit of a payoff for all the work you've done so far. But if you look at it, it's actually not that hard to figure out. You know, we're just importing the Spark stuff that we need for Python. Uh, we're doing some configuration, some setup of Spark up here. We're going to load the u.data file from the movie lens data set that we just installed. So that is the file that contains all the actual movie ratings for 100,000 ratings. We then parse that data into different fields. And then we call a little function in Spark called count by value that will actually split up that data for us. What we're trying to do is create a histogram of our ratings data. So we want to find out out of all of those 100,000 ratings, how many five star ratings are there? How many four stars? How many three stars? How many two stars? And how many one stars exist? And back at the time that they made this data set, they didn't have half star ratings. There's only one, two, three, four, and five. So those are the choices. And what we're going to do is count up how many of each ratings type exist in that data set. When we're done, we're just going to sort the results and print them out. So that's all that's going on here. So let's go ahead and run that and see if it works. If you go to the tools menu in Canopy, you have sort of a shortcut here for a command prompt that you can use, or you can open up a command prompt anywhere. Just make sure that you get into your Spark course directory where you actually downloaded the script that we're going to be using. There it is, ratings.cat. RatingsCounter.py and the ML100K folder should be both in here. And all I need to do to run it is type in spark-submit ratings-counter.py. So please follow along with me here. I need to catch up, hit pause, and do so. I'm going to hit enter, and that will let me run this saved script that I wrote for Spark. Off it goes. And there's our results. So it made short work of those 100,000 ratings. 100,000 ratings, not really big data, but we're just playing around our, on our desktop for now. And the results are kind of interesting. It turns out that the most uh, common rating is four star. So people are most generous with four star ratings with 34,000 of them in the data set. And people seem to reserve one stars for the worst of the worst, only about 6,000 one star ratings out of our 100,000 ratings. So it might be fun and go and go to see what actually got rated one star if you want to find some really bad movies to watch. <laughs> and there you have it. That's, uh, that's an actual running Spark script on your desktop doing some real data analysis of real movie ratings data from real people. How cool is that? Let's move on and actually start to understand what's actually happening under the hood with Spark here and how it all works and how it fits together. And then we'll go back and study this example in a little bit more depth. All right, we actually ran some Spark code of our very own. It actually worked. We just analyzed 100,000 movie ratings data in just a couple of seconds, really. So pretty nifty results. It wasn't that hard. So later on, like I said, we'll go into more detail about what that code actually does that we looked at. But for now, let's review some of the basics of Spark and how it works and what it's used for and kind of give you some of that fundamental knowledge that you need to understand how this script actually works. So let's do that next.